All right, hello everybody. I wanted to thank you for taking the time for stopping by today to check out our poster. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the work that we do here in the Trend Laboratory and my dissertation. So my work is focused on abandoned mine drainage. In particular, mine drainage occurs here in Southwestern Pennsylvania. And mining began in Pennsylvania in about the 1700s and remained unregulated until 1945. And due to this, we've sort of inherited this legacy issue of abandoned mines. There are 11,000 that we know of within the state. And this impacts about 5,000 kilometers of streams. And this hurts our recreation industry, which is about a $29.1 billion industry every year. And will cost us between 15 to $50 billion just to clean up this mess. So what happens with mining is when you're digging into the earth, you're exposing the ores that are there to water and oxygen. And this results in the production of sulfuric acid and the solubilization of metals into solutions such as iron. Iron can hurt aesthetically and have a really ugly orange color. It can also hurt water infrastructure. It is poisonous if you're consuming it in really large quantities. It can also be associated with cancer and increased infection risk. So to treat the heat impacts of abandoned mine drainage, we can do this in a passive system, which is a series of settling ponds, aeration, limestone beds, and wetlands that are designed to increase your pH and precipitate metals from solution. Since these systems are open to the environment, they are naturally colonized by microbial populations. And these bicrams that are present can actually have an impact on the radiation in a positive way known as bioremediation. And they can do this by pulling electrons from these chemical species in solution, changing these chemicals oxidation states and causing them to precipitate from solution. And they do this by driving their metabolism. So mm -hmm. at the acidic voice part pass remediation system that we study, we have found that there are microbes that are present in the system that where the metals do not really precipitate. And it, these microbes have been associated with iron oxidation, that these microbes can actually perform iron oxidation. And we have found that we have bacterial isolates that we have found that are capable of doing nitrate dependent iron oxidation, which is a specific type of iron oxidation metabolism that's dependent on nitrate to run it. So the long-term thing we would like to look at is to characterize these isolates we have further to really understand how they're driving this metabolism and characterize this nitrate dependent iron oxidation better and see if there's ways that we can improve this radiation through supplementation of natural carbon sources, such as straw or mushrooms, which we have seen previously can impact sulfur remediation in these systems, as well as figure out if there are ways to monitor the effectiveness of these systems through something as simple as developing primers specific for microbes or the metabolism that are known to impact remediation. Um, thank you for your time.